I see Anthony, I see Meredith, and I see the man, the myth, the legend, Chef Bud. Good life, good food, and is that some sweet baby raised barbecue sauce I see on your table, sir? Your picture there looking like Channing and Tate. <laughs> now, Steve, Steve, I don't want you to be talking about sweet baby raised because you requested some without. <sighs> I we understand. always place orders. I eat whatever yeah. you make just as you make right. it because I'm easy to please. Yeah. Me too. They're the high maintenance no, you're not. ones. I got an email from Steve at like five <laughs> last night. Hey, can I get some of that without sweet baby? Special <laughs> order. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fantastic. I'm, you, so, I'm so fantastic. easy to please. But good morning to good you. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I, I know you're off work today. Yes, so you appreciate just an extra by. day off. But, but this no is a deal. great dish that folks can make at home tonight. It is. Maybe throw in this morning and it'll be yeah, great. Yeah, it, you're absolutely right. And the cool thing about this is it's another uh, kind of a braising product like we did with the ribs last week, mm -hmm. which means we're going to cook it in a little water. But I wanted to I cut off a piece of the pork shoulder mostly just for folks at home to see it's not a real handsome piece of meat it's also there's a lot of uh, fat on it mm -hmm. it's also a lot of uh, kind of seams running through there so that's why it's important to to cook it in some water to break all this down okay, okay? but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a rub for it and uh, most all of my rubs whenever it comes to something like this start with a little bit of brown sugar mm -hmm. and then that's kind of the sweet element and then to offset the sweet element, we have to put something in there. So we put some McCormick chili powder in there, a little bit of smoked paprika. So these are like a tablespoon, tablespoon, a tablespoon of each. Okay. And then a quarter of a, a teaspoon, which is a real small amount, of cinnamon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then a tablespoon of cumin. Now, I'm not a big fan of cumin, but um, it kind of balances things out in this. So I put it in there. If you don't like cumin, you can omit it. What from does the cumin add to it then? Well, cumin has a very unique kind of a Southwest fla uh, flavor to it, and it adds, it kind of pulls stuff together, but I kind of have a tendency to like the sweetness more than the heat. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the brown sugar and the smoked paprika work really well together, and the cinnamon add kind of an earth, earthy flavor to it. But what you're going to do is you're going to pat this off with a paper towel. Now, this you'll see this later in the next segment. It'll be a big uh, shoulder, but you're going to pat that off, and then you're just going to take and rub it. You just want to rub it all the way get it covered and, and what I do is usually do this on a sheet tray uh -huh. or something where you can just roll it around in there because you want to get it all the way covered okay okay now once you get it covered like this you're gonna take it to your grill now this is a step that a lot of people don't do I do this because I, I like this this factor of it you're just gonna set it on your grill and you're gonna let it basically char so it's gonna kind of uh, form a crust is a good a good way to putting it okay. when I say char people think I mean burn it but you're gonna <laughs> That's form what it. I think. yeah you're gonna I form a crust a lot of my food. yeah it's you're gonna form a crust on it you're uh -huh. gonna bring it in then you're gonna cut a sweet Vidalia onion a couple of them. you're gonna lay them in the bottom of a pan you're gonna lay this whole pork butt on top of it okay, okay? you're gonna take about a cup of uh, uh, chicken stock put that in there and fill it up about probably half three quarters of the way full mm -hmm. some film and some foil in the oven at 225 slow and low Remember that. Okay. Slow and low, <laughs> and it'll cook for about eight, six to eight hours. And we talked about this last week. Why the, the film and then the foil? Because the humid. Boy, you are getting She so remembers. The film helps create humidity. Uh -huh. okay. So the humidity with the heat of the water basically breaks down all that the pieces that I showed you on there that you didn't like. Now, this is a new way. The, the onions is a new thing. I've never done that before. I, I was reading about this and seeing that an individual had done this. I like this idea, and I'll show you why later. We're going we're gonna to take those onions that have cooked all night and basically caramelize them on the grill to put on top of the sandwich. Oh. And then we'll do a uh, cucumber and cantaloupe salad when we come back. So. Nice. I like it. So good 4th of July for you, sir? It was a fantastic. <laughs> all the folks that came out, it was great. We had a good time. Uh -huh. um, at Buttapalooza. At the Buttapalooza. Butta yeah. We celebrate our nation's independence by having an independent night, I guess. But it was, <laughs> it was uh, incredible. Lots of folks came out. A lot of, uh, a lot of good feedback on Facebook. Which uh, this is where you kick in. Which uh, oh we, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good life, good food. Go to his page and like them, please. Yeah, we were at 1,500, and I thanked everybody <laughs> that we lost one. I don't know. <laughs> I lost one of you somewhere. So come like, back. Never mind. Whoever <laughs> lost, come back. Yeah. I really appreciate. But but oh we we are gosh. close to 1,500, and, That's funny. and we're like 51 or 50, depending on who comes back or leaves. So good life, good food. Go like it because a lot of good stuff on there. All right, but thank you so much. Stick around. We're gonna talk some deals online and a look at that forecast for you next. You lost. And of course, he's got Sweet Baby Ray's within arm's reach. Oh. Thank you, Steve-O, for that little plug. <laughs> Steve, thank you so much. So we made some pulled pork sandwiches earlier. Mm -hmm. Recap that recipe for us real quick. Okay, so we did the rub with the smoked paprika, the chili powder. Um, 
into the slow and low. You're going to char it a little bit, kind of score it up on the grill, then into a pan, film and foil, create the humidity and uh, with, with a little bit of chicken broth and water. And then you're going to let it cook. This cooked for like... An onion. Yeah. Which we took that two onion. Two onion, yeah. Okay. And uh, you can see how it pulls apart. I put the bone up here so you can see. Yeah. It, it falls completely off. When I was it pulling fell it, off. When I was pulling oh. it, uh, Anthony was standing over there and he was kind of amazed at how it all came off. Nice. So it comes off really nice into little pieces. Mm -hmm. Just take a couple forks and start pulling it apart. Now, Steve doesn't want any, but like what I do is I take the onions and I grill them off and then I take my... Sweet baby rays right over the top of that, uh -huh. and the good the good thing about it is, is if you do this, I think, I think that it's better if you if you put the sweet baby rays on top of it rather than mix it all up together. I think, but okay. some people like to mix it. So up. what's this salad? Okay, what's so we're gonna do, we're gonna do a salad with cantaloupes and cucumbers and mint. The reason for this is these are all readily available. If people are growing cucumbers, they got tons of them. I guarantee you. In season. Melons are in season right now, and we're gonna make a little bit of a. Uh, kind of a vinaigrette dressing. We've got a couple tablespoons of honey. We have some apple or apple white, white wine vinegar in here and a little bit of, um, what's the other ingredient lime. I put in here? The lime. The lime, lime juice. Thank you, lime juice. Uh -huh. And I'm going to add about a third of a cup of olive oil. Okay. Okay. Get yourself a little jar like this. This is an old uh, blackberry apricot preserve that I made a preserve or a, a sauce out of. If you get a thing like this, you just shake it all up. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, and then you got a bottle you can always use this for. Now, we're going to combine the cucumbers and the cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I've got a little mozzarella cheese here. You can do you can do whatever cheese you want. Feta works really good for this as well. Okay. Okay. Then we're just going to take this. We'll go over the top of it with the dressing. Okay. And maybe mix it up the night before. And you let can it sit. do that. Yeah, it'll marry a little bit. Yeah. And then we're going to add a little bit of fresh mint, which can kind of give it the pop. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to throw some of the cheese in there. How do you make mint last longer in your refrigerator? Because I'm one of those that buys, you know, yeah, the little mint, sprigs and the plants, and then they always go bad. Mint is hard because it's such a delicate little 